Hi everyone, my name is Patrick and this is my first video blog as an artist. I've been an artist since I was really young, and with the current socioeconomic situation that we all find ourselves in, I feel like my old passion for art has come alive in a totally new way. I'm excited to start something that I've never tried before, and document my journey as an artist moving forward from here. This will be my first real body of work in a matter of years, so I'm pretty excited to start the first of many new additions to my portfolio and see what comes out of it. With that, I want to introduce the first in what will be a seven-part creature drawing series. I chose to create this series of drawings out of a genuine appreciation and respect for nature, as corny as that sounds. I always felt like certain animals have such a presence and intensity about them that makes them so fun and challenging to draw. I wanted to start with the mantis here, because to me, insects make up one of the most important animal kingdoms on the planet. They're the foundation of the food chain in many ecosystems. Insects are so prehistoric if you really look at them, and they haven't needed to evolve much in millions of years. I chose the mantis because it's such a great embodiment of what insects are all about. Most of them try to blend in with their environment, but the ones that stand out tend to do so because they're not messing around. Maybe it's got a poisonous bite, a sting, or sharp pincers even. It's got almost an alien beauty to it, like you can't believe that this thing evolved on Earth. You can't stop looking at it, even though it kind of repulses you. I chose to make the mantis especially vibrant and colorful, uh, spoiler alert, to mimic the coloration of actual poisonous insects, which signal to potential predators that these colors mean potential aggression and harm. I wanted the mantis to be colorful and entrancing like a flower. But when you get close enough, you see how sharp and formidable it truly is. So I had quite a few inspirations that I was consuming while, while working on this drawing. Uh, while working on it, I watched a lot of Planet Earth with Sir David Attenborough and some old Steve Irwin episodes uh, to get inspiration for how insects look and move in their environment. It definitely got me back in touch with the good old days watching Animal Planet and Discovery Channel which is full circle for me because it's a part of what got me drawing in the first place. I did have some challenges when, once I started coloring especially. I used these alcohol-based markers called Copic markers. The Copic markers were really rich in their color quality. Absolutely unreal, as you can see. Like, I... it was amazing. And I was able to blend the colors together pretty seamlessly as you're starting to see. And I haven't really had that ability with any non-digital drawing medium before, so I'm, I'm going to start using these a lot and I'm really excited to continue using them with these creature drawings. However, the paper I chose for this project, um, which is Canson watercolor paper, comes on these big sheets and a sketch pad of uh, 12 inches by 18 inches, so perfect size for a nice, large, original drawing but the paper did allow the markers to bleed a little bit. So despite that challenge in the actual drawing process, I, I think I'm still going to keep using this brand of paper. Um, because the sheets are large enough for the actual designs I want to make, and the paper is thick enough uh, to make for good original drawings that I'll be um, matting, framing, and then eventually selling. So I want them to look good physically, um, aside from having digital prints. Another difficult task during the creation of this drawing was making the mantis look like a living, moving insect. The body of any species of insect is actually pretty complex and has to be anatomically accurate enough to register in your brain as something that could actually be a living creature. I wanted it to look mostly like a praying mantis, but also embody some of the traits from other major insect and arachnid varieties, like wasps, spiders, scorpions, all those things that a lot of you probably don't like. I even referenced old science book drawings of what trilobites and other prehistoric invertebrates may have looked like. It was fun trying to combine all of these unique and defining features of different insect types.
already fully involved in the drawing of the next creature in this series, which will be very different from this one, actually. The next creature drawing will have a much darker and more ominous color palette, but will still be a bit vibrant in its own way, like this mantis here. I really appreciate you guys watching this video and checking it out. I'm excited to hear what you guys think about the next one coming up since it'll really stand apart from the first of this series. Stay tuned for an update on what's coming up next in the lineup. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of this drawing.